Friends, this is God's word. From this story, we're gonna ask and answer two questions that I believe this story helps us answer. Here's the first question that we're gonna wrestle with. Why is it difficult to trust God in our waiting? From this story, I think we're gonna see two reasons, two realities from Jairus' life that give us insight into why it's so difficult for us to trust God in our season of waiting. Here's the first reason. Number one, it's because fear develops inside of us. Fear develops inside. Look at this. Jesus said to the ruler of the synagogue, to Jairus, do not fear, only believe. Why does Jesus in this moment speak first to the fear in Jairus' heart? I believe he spoke first to the fear in Jairus' life because he knows that nothing will kill your faith faster than fear. Nothing, friends, will kill your faith faster than fear. Jesus in this story gives two commands to Jairus. The first one is do not fear. The way it's written in the Greek is the strongest way possible for Jesus to command Jairus not to fear. It's Jesus literally saying to him, Jairus, look at me in the eyes. Do not, do not, do not be afraid. Don't ever be afraid, Jairus. The second thing, only believe. Jairus, the only thing I'm asking you to do right now is to trust me, Jairus. Do you trust me? Do not fear, just trust me. See, Jesus knows that apart from removing the fear from Jairus' life, that faith in Jesus would not really be possible. It's as if Jesus knows that in Jairus' heart, there's not enough room for faith and fear to coexist at the same time. So he wants to remove the fear and instill faith in Jairus. And the same thing is true for us. I know the times in my life where I lacked the most faith and trust in God was because I was fearing something more than I was fearing God. When I was 18 years old, in the most sincere way possible, I really felt like God had called me to be a part of extending God's kingdom here in this unbelievable city. And as honest as I can be, it was the most like strong, genuine sense I had ever had from the Lord up until that point in my life. And I was so excited about it. I was ready for it to happen right now. You know what I'm saying? If you know the story, here's when I got here, four years later, four years later. And while I waited for those four years, you know what started creeping up in my heart? Here's what started creeping up, fear fear. Fear that maybe I had missed God. Fear that maybe I had misheard him. Fear that it was actually just my dream for my life and not necessarily his calling for my life. And because I thought maybe I had misheard God and fear there, it started to develop into more fears. Fear that maybe I didn't, wasn't able to discern the still small voice of the spirit of God in my life. You know what followed shortly after that fear? Doubt of God doubt that God really was going to do what I felt like he had called me to do. Doubt that God would really keep his word because four years just seemed too long. Waiting, waiting. Would God really do what he said? And praise God, he did. Just four years later, right? Now, one of the reasons I think we struggle to have faith in God is because we fear the things that will come if we really have faith and follow God wherever he leads. See, some of you have entered this building this morning and, and you're here and God is calling you to trust him. He's calling you in a new direction. He's calling you towards a new step of obedience and you're paralyzed by fear and so you haven't said yes to God yet. I wanna encourage you, friends. Nothing will kill your faith faster than your fear. God is calling you to trust him. Number two, not only does fear develop inside, but number two, doubt builds on the outside. Look at while he was still speaking, there came from the ruler's house some who said, your daughter is dead. Why trouble the teacher any further? Here's what happens. Trusting God becomes even harder when what's happening inside of us begins to get confirmed by others outside of us. And when we combine the fear inside and the doubt outside by others, trust in God feels nearly impossible. We've identified why it's so difficult to trust God in our lives, but what do we do when all of that's happening inside us? Here's what we do, friends. We start preaching to ourselves what we know to be true about the Word of God, of what we know to be true rather than just what we feel to be true in the moment. We remind ourselves of all the reasons why we really can trust our God. 